Hey, what's up, YouTube? Pen here. Welcome back to the channel. So, on the screen, I have my Hisense UAG playlist that's public on YouTube. Um, it goes over the general content settings and it's a part of my review process. So, this video is going to be clearing some things up with the Hisense UAG and also um, where I'm going to be going with the channel like in terms of like content you know dealing with products trying to implement some more displays televisions uh, monitors going on and also got some things going on in the background too but with particular with the Hisense uag because we're in 2022 um Hisense is going to be pretty much showcasing their newer models of televisions and pretty soon it's going to be scattered across the place if it's not already now i don't know how many firmware updates um over the air updates that hisense plans to have with the hisense uag but pretty soon i'm going to start writing some bullet points for my official review of this tv meaning what i like about it and what i don't like about it the good and the bad and it's just going to be a review, you know, so um, expect that coming. Now, to clear the air with the Hisense UAG in terms of like my videos and how I present the settings out to the end user. Here's the thing. I've been looking at the AVS forms, not lately, but maybe like about a month ago with some change. And it was comments about you know, my videos and rather you should have to use the settings and a, a few users recommended my video. And I do notice um, at least a couple from the AVS forums that do comment on my channel. Uh, shout out to Jace, um, big shout out to you, you know, for giving your thoughts and opinions and your settings on the Hisense UAG in terms of the motion um, enhancement. So thank you for that, sir. Here's the thing. Here's rtings.com. Uh, they do TV reviews, headphones, monitor, you know, they do a variety of reviews. So I like rtings because they give detailed descriptions about their reviews. Um, it's not just a video. They give you a detailed written form, which I like because I'm able to go in and see if I want to get another TV or the TV that I currently have, I can see what they rated and based off the feedback that they give. So overall, the Hisense UAG and um, they do updates on this as well. But with these numbers, um, I generally agree. Like it's a beast for HDR content as a PC monitor is nice. For video games, it's lovely. For SDR, movies and TV shows and sports, it's good. So I want to scroll down here. Uh, when it comes to settings and whether or not you should use my settings or another YouTuber settings. Um, if you want to stay far away from my settings, that's perfectly fine. Because at the end of the day, the settings are going to be what I like and what I recommend based off of what I'm doing at the time and based off of what I research, I always gave homage and links to um, where I found the research. Also, you see where it says pre calibration. So that means that this number and I'm guessing uh, they're targeting the SDR. So the out of the box picture format, it gives it an 8.9 for pre-calibration, meaning that without you going on Google, looking up settings or looking at YouTube videos, you can have a nice picture out the box with the Hisense UAG, a 8.9 out of 10 for a pre-calibration. That is not bad guys at all. That is amazing for what people call a budget brand television but the design and the features and the quality of the Hisense UAG, um, it doesn't give out any type of budget at all. It's just a beast of a television in my personal opinion. Now, 
post calibration, our teams decided to give this television a 9.5 out of 10. So once it's properly um, calibrated, right? And as stated, as the Hisense UAG already had excellent accuracy out the box, calibration was tough to do and didn't improve the overall accuracy much. Color accuracy improved a bit, but the issues with shades of blue are still there. The white balance is now nearly perfect, but it was already excellent. This isn't a noticeable improvement. So they say you can see our full calibration settings here. So essentially, um, the television set has its issues just as any other TV. The point that I'm getting at is that if you simply want to enjoy your picture and you just want to have a plug and play setup after you set this um, television up, it has an 8.9 for a pre-calibration. You don't have to watch YouTubers or you don't have to Google for any additional settings. The settings that I post on my channel are just to give you a little bit more pop in your picture, a little bit more contrast, you know, help it stand out a little bit more. Um, most TV consumers or customers don't care about super accurate televisions. Uh, for the most part, when they see a bright, beautiful, colorful display, especially in the right TV size that they want, they're going to gravitate towards it. So I want to highlight and clear the air here and say, listen, this TV out the box has an amazing pre-calibration applied to it by the manufacturer. So if you're looking for settings online, you must be looking for a reason because you spent your hard on money and you want to get the best out of your television set without paying the additional money which I get, but if you do your homework and you can take in other people's opinion, that's fine. But um, just know that when you're looking at other settings online, it may not work for you at all because truthfully speaking, every panel is different. We all don't have the same panel. There's a thing called panel lottery where some panels are just better than others. And if you're lucky to get a good set, you won the panel lottery. You know, that's just the name of the game. You know, that's just the nature of the business at the end of the day. So, um, you know, I'm looking through this. I got an 8.6 for color volume, 7.5 for gradient. So, you know, I use our teams quite a bit when it comes to televisions and, and other um, product reviews. And just know that out the box, this TV, um, you're good to go, honestly. So just once clear the air and just um just know that the high sense UAG review is coming soon and be on the lookout for that. And um I'm gonna be prepping for that, I guess for the next couple of weeks, getting some thoughts out, jotting some things down, and I should have that out uh definitely before the end of the month. Let's say that. So I want to thank everybody for watching, take care, and peace out.